Mr. President, first I want to thank all of the speakers who spoke before me for speaking the truth. Uh, that's very important. The people in Nagorno-Karabakh may be freezing right now because of the blockade, but your words will certainly warm their hearts because they will know they are not alone, even though Azerbaijan wants them to think they are alone and that nobody cares. But, but you show that people do care. Dear colleagues, I know conflicts are, tend to be com complicated, but sometimes they are quite simple. We have a situation when Azerbaijan, the president of Azerbaijan, on November 9th of 2020, has signed under a paper which says the Lachin Corridor should be under the control of peacekeepers and the Republic of Azerbaijan guarantees <coughs> Uh, the flow of, of cargo, people, vehicles from Armenia to Nagorno-Karabakh and the other way around through the Lachin Corridor. Now we don't have this situation. This is already the 46th day when this road is blocked. And furthermore, there is no gas and there is no electricity because Azerbaijan has cut them off. Of course, as some of the speakers mentioned, Azerbaijan will deny this and our Azerbaijani colleagues will start to, to bring arguments saying that first there is no blockade and second they will start justifying the blockade which according to them is not, is not there by the so-called eco-activists. And there is only one way to check this, dear friends. Let's suppose that there is some evil Armenian conspiracy, worldwide conspiracy, which has somehow managed to lie to everyone and to convince the Americans, the Russians, the French, the Iranians, the, the UK, the OSCE, the Council of Europe, the ECHR, that there is a blockade which actually doesn't exist. Okay, this means that Azerbaijan must agree that in this case, this organization, PACE, should send a fact-finding mission to the Lachin Corridor immediately. Because that would be the only way for our Azerbaijani co colleagues to prove that we are making false accusations. And when I say we are making, I mean I, my Armenian colleagues, and all the other colleagues which are not Armenian and who spoke today. If our Azerbaijani colleagues do not agree to this, this means that they do actually have genocidal intent their intention is to, to rid Nagorno-Karabakh of its Armenian population, and this means that this organization should act accordingly and should take measures to prevent this. Thank you.